Okay, in this uh, video, part two of the Publishers Database, we've resolved that we have a certain number of tables right here and a certain number of relationships that need to be modeled. And you wouldn't include this in your own Visio diagram, but it's here just to provide us with some structure so that we know what we're trying to accomplish. If you're going to create these table relationships in Microsoft Visio, you'd start with the table that appears most frequently in your list. And in this case, you'll notice that book appears three times and then orders twice. Uh, author, publisher, and customer, they only appear once. So I'd start with the book table. And I'd start by creating that by putting it in the, the middle of my page. And I would click on its properties, change its physical name to books. And then I would go into its columns and I would give it a book ID, which would be its primary key. Since all these other tables tend to be related to book in some way, at least most of them are, it makes sense to create this book table first. Now, the next relationship that we want to look at here is since we've got book in the middle, let's skip customer order and let's do book order. That's a many-to-many -many relationship. So that means that you're going to have to have an order table, and you're going to have to have a book order table as a junction table. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the order table. I'm going to change its, go to its uh, definition, and call that an order table. And I'm going to give, go to its columns and make that an order ID as a primary key. And then double click on the definition here and this would be book order because it's a junction table. Now remember this, junction tables are what are called weak entities because they don't generate their own primary keys. They use the primary keys of other tables. The book order table has a composite key or a concatenated key which uses the keys from the primary keys of other strong entities, in this case books and order. To create the primary, the keys in the book order table, you do not type them in in Visio. What you do is you grab a relationship line and you let the relationship line do the creating for you. In this case, we have to resolve this book to order many to many relationship into a one to many relationship between book and book order and a many to one relationship between book order and order. And this is where this relationship line comes into play. I'm going to take this relationship line and I'm going to do the relationship between book and book order. The arrow goes on the strong entity, the book, and the non-arrow end goes on book order. And there it is. The other thing I do is I use a relationship line and I do the same thing with the order table. I put the arrow end on order and I put the non-arrow end on book order until it lights up and it will automatically place foreign keys in here for book ID and order ID. So now that I have that together what I do is I have to go into the book order table and I have to go to columns and I have to promote these foreign keys book ID and order ID to be primary keys. That way they uniquely identify each row in the book order table. I'm going to expand that so you can see what it looks like when it's done. Junction tables, many to many relationships always look like this, where you have a junction table in the middle and then two arrows pointing out to the side like arms, and these arrows are the fingers pointing to the strong entities, such as book and order in this case. So that is the how you would do the book order relationship right here. With that done, why not try the book author relationship? And that will be your next challenge, will be to create that relationship and use the same principle of creating an author table and then a book author junction table between book and author and that's your challenge.